I've got my uh, head drill here ready and my rod ready. My runners, uh, standard bunch of runners. The very first step on um, making Tilt Track 1000 uh, wand operated split draw uh, head drill is to find out how many runners uh, we'll need for it to make to make this blind. Okay, and um, I've got my head wheel here ready, my tilt rod ready. Standard bunch of runners and reverse bunch of runners ready. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna find out how many runners we'll need for the blind. Just to, just to remind you, the the split draw uh, head rail works the way that you've got two bunches of runners uh, on either side of the of the of the head rail, and uh, and they they open uh, inwards and they meet in the in in the middle of the blind. That's why we need two bunches of runners. Okay, uh, and now to find out how many runners we'll need for the blind, you can either refer to to a work works uh, uh, order here, and it, it tells you uh, the amount of runners that is that you're gonna need for the for, for the blind, or you can easily find out that uh, yourself by spreading the um, the runners alongside the the headrail and by counting them. So for this blind, I'm gonna need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 runners. But like I said, it's a split draw and we'll, we'll be using uh, two opposite uh, bunches of runners for it. So uh, this amount has to be divided by two as we're going to have two bunches of runners. Uh, seven runners on the left hand side, on the control side and seven runners on the opposite side of the blind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to count seven runners here four six seven and do exactly the same thing with the opposite branch four six seven and the next step now is to attach the uh, the wand wand carrier to the uh, to the uh, uh, standard uh, branch of runners to the total left hand uh, branch of runners here but firstly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off the the last the last hole on the on the wand carrier here because uh, what it is, uh, the wand carrier has three holes uh, uh, on it. The the full length of it is for uh, 127 uh, uh, millimeter size of runners. The second one is for uh, 89. Uh, 89 millimeter uh, runners, and that's what I'm using uh, for this blind. 18, 89 uh, millimeter runners. That's why I'm gonna have to snap off the the, the third hole here. Just cut it right ne right next to the uh, next to the, the the middle hole on it. This is for 89 uh, uh, millimeter uh, millimeter runners. Then what I'm going what I'm going to do on the on the last, on the very left runner, on the right-hand side of the of the standard bunch, I cut off the uh, the, the the link here, right right next to the runner, and then take the uh, little orange wheels of the runner here, and then attach. Attach the one that uh, one carrier onto the uh, onto the onto that runner. It just slots, uh, just click clips onto it. Okay. On the opposite bunch of runners, we're gonna have to detach the the, the last runner, <coughs> last runner on the on the left hand side and uh, clip the, uh, the cord, the, the reverse cord drive runner uh, onto it. It looks like that, it, it has a little, little 
You go screw on it. And just, just clip it on the on, on the link. Uh, sometimes it's, it's it's pretty pretty tricky to put it on, but the trick is the uh, the, the link is, is slightly narrower uh, right uh, by by the runner, and that's that's where. The quarter runner has to be clipped on it. Okay, so our runners are prepared now. So we can put them on the on the on the tilt boot now. One on this side, the standard branch on the on the left hand side. And reversed branch. On the opposite side of the of the blind, and the next step is to put the um, spacer tubes on for uh, 89 uh, uh, millimeter runners. Uh, we use uh, 90, 90 millimeter uh, uh, spacer tubes, and they they go on the on the left hand side of the blind uh, on the rod and. Uh, and on the right hand side and then the next step is to put the idle lens the both the same for 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 the split draw uh, uh, head rail we use uh, two exactly the same uh, idle lens and they go on uh, either side of the of the rod And now our, our blind is ready to be strung. Right to, to measure to measure the uh, the cord. Uh, what it is basically uh, is the is the length of the of the headrail or or a rod. Then. Double it uh, over and uh, add, let's say, more or less 100, 100 millimeters to it. So uh, again, is uh, is the is the length of the rod or or the head well times two plus uh, 100 millimeters. Okay, to, to make it easy for ourselves, uh, uh, well, to make the string and easy easy for ourselves. Uh, I, I always burn. I always burn the uh, the ends of the cord a little bit and uh, just melt them a little bit and uh, just to make them to make the ends uh, slightly harder and pointy, so it's much easier to put uh, to put it through through the runners. And then the um, firstly, I I feed the uh, the cord through. For the uh, uh, for the uh, idle end on the left hand side, and it goes uh, uh, it goes in through the uh, through the hole that is uh, in it uh, through the hole that is uh, closer to us, and then turn the the runners uh, upside down slightly so I can see the holes in the runners uh, uh, better, and then just uh, feed the cord through the runners and then the cord uh, goes through the uh, for the hole on the on the cord uh, uh, sorry uh, through the uh, for the one carrier there's a little hole on it here all the way down and uh, through the for the cord wave runner through the hole uh, on the cord wave runner on the uh, on the reverse bunch of runners here All the way down through them um, to the uh, to the uh, opposite uh, idle end, and uh, again uh, the cord uh, the cord goes through through the idle end to through the hole that is closer to us, and uh, straight back in through the uh, opposite hole um, on on the on the idle, uh, idle end here, and again just uh, turn the turn the runners uh, uh, up and uh, put the cord through. Uh, the runners here 
goes all the way through them, um, all the way down to um, to the one carrier, and it, again I put it through for the hole on the uh, on the cord uh, uh, on the uh, sorry on the one carrier here, and then just tie a little knot at the very end of the cord here. And now the other end uh, of the of the of the cord goes uh, goes the, goes uh, for the either end in for the uh, for the other hole on it and through the uh, through the runners here. And then for the for the hole on the on the one carrier, okay. To to secure the uh, the cord on the on the one carrier here, the other end of it, we we cannot use the uh, the, the the knot on it. It will have to be um, a split ball. Like a little metal metal ball that uh, you can squeeze after all after afterwards, and it will hold onto the onto the cord uh, strong. Okay. The best way to do it is just to pull the, uh, the sticking sticking out the uh, end of the cord uh, slightly to to make the to make the cord uh, tense. It mustn't slack too much. Put the put the split ball on the cord and then squeeze it as hard as you can with with the pliers. Then cut the uh, excess on the on the cord here, like let's say 10 mil from from that uh, speed ball I've just squeezed. Find the end, uh, sticking out end of the cord a little bit. To make it look look uh, uh, a bit neater, then the uh, the whole thing is ready to be put into the into the headrail. In order to put the all the other ideal end uh, into the headrail, basically it needs to be stretched out a bit and then slot into it. Now secure the uh, idle ends by screwing the screws down. And then the next step is just to, to make sure that uh, we've got enough. We've got the um, to see if the, the runners are working uh, nice and smoothly. Just we can get them aligned here now. To align the runners, just turn the. Um, Turn the sticking out bit of the wand uh, carrier until the um, the runners start clicking on it. That's when they when they when they start clicking. It means that they get in line. Just like that. Now the next step uh, of of the blind is to secure our stationary uh, uh, runners. 
the, the the very first one is on on uh, on either end are our stationary runners. So I secure them with uh, with anchors. Okay, so they're secure now and they will always stay here in the end, they, they mustn't move. Okay, so uh, our standard bunch, bunch of runners, uh, it's, it's oper well, it moves up and down uh, because it will move up and down because uh, we'll have the, the wand attached to, it, attached to it. But now we need to, we need to attach the, uh, the the cold wave runner on the opposite side of uh, runners on this uh, on the on the um, uh, reverse bunch of runners you need to attach the the the, the cord onto onto the uh, cord wave runner and to do it all we need to do is just screw the screw on the um, on the on the cord will run it down. This will hold the the cord will on uh, the sorry it will hold the, the cord on the cord will run it. and uh, now by moving by moving this bunch of runners the other one uh, Moves, uh, moves with it. Okay, so our our hair drill is 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 done now. It's assembled, and then and then the last step now is to assemble the the wand that will that uh, will operate the the whole blind, and there are four parts to it. Obviously, the uh, the wand pole here. The um, one handle, one hook, and the, um, the wall clip. The one handle goes on it, and uh, the one hook uh, is, is, is being attached to the opposite side of the of the of the wand and then the one clip clips onto the uh, one handle just like this hey that's it our head well is done now I hope uh, it helps as you can see, the, the, the system isn't uh, the, this system isn't that difficult really to to, to put together.